What's going on everyone, Jay here, and this is not a video that I want to make, but it's one I'm going to make because I consider the core foundation of this community as family, and what do you do um, when there's problems in the family? You let the family know, and unfortunately, um, early this morning, my father passed away. Um, he had a YouTube channel. A lot of you guys didn't know that. He started his YouTube channel because of me. He liked what I did and, and he wanted to do it himself. He loved to teach. He taught me everything I know about presentation and he just he was bored and retired and wanted to give it a shot. But um, over the last couple of years, you guys, have, those that have watched his channel know that his health was deteriorating. Um, and this, his passing last night or this morning was, was sudden in the sense that he didn't have any precursors leading up to this to say that he was having some sort of a health issue. He pretty much went to sleep and and died in his sleep. I'll, I'll try to put, I'll put a link down below if you guys want to watch any of his videos. Not only did he do like HTML programming guides, which was really interesting as a guy in his 70s talking about programming, um, but he talked a lot about his life experiences and his, his career in the military. He was a military man for over 20 years, traveled the world, has been to every ocean and every sea and who knows how many countries and some really, really good stories. And so he wanted to share that because I did a video with him a few years back where we had a health scare with him where we thought that he had cancer, but he was misdiagnosed and that was a big old, that was a big old mind fuck. But um, I had him on and I, the point of that video was to let you guys know that if you, you know, have people in your life that you care about, let them know because um, they could be gone at any moment as uh, obviously my family is dealing with right now. Not only myself, but my, my wife, my sister, his other siblings. He has, I mean, we have, he has a total of uh, four siblings, including myself, the grandkids. Um, he was very close with his family. Everyone was very close with him. We had a long discussion with family last night because we spent hours and hours at the hospital because they were trying, they were trying to save him because we were actually, well, actually my mom noticed something was wrong while he was sleeping and then they tried to work on him, but it was kind of a lost cause because he was just, his body was shutting down. There was no stopping it. So we had to make the decision as a family to take him off of life support, which was, that's, that's a, that's a mind fuck when, when a doctor is looking at you and saying, what, what do you want to do here? No one's ready for that. No one. But one of the best things I got from my dad was my work ethic. Um, Jerry teases me for being a workaholic. I would say that's the thing I got most from my dad. So definitely um, not a bad trait. I mean, I work my ass off for my family so that my wife and my kids can have a better life. And uh, if I died tomorrow, I hope that that's what people would say about me. And that's what I say about him. He, everything I am, everything I, my ethic, my family, my drive, is because that's what I saw in him when I was growing up. So the point of this video really was just to share with what I consider an extension of my family here that unfortunately the patriarch of my family and my hero um, has gone hopefully to a better place where he's not in pain anymore. So what's next? Um, obviously my Ryzen 3 video is postponed. We were in the middle of recording that yesterday and we plan to finish it today. Obviously I'm not going to the studio today. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna push forward and I'm gonna work. That's what my dad would have wanted. I, I know people are gonna judge and say, oh my God, your dad just passed away. Why are you gonna go to work? Because I've got an event this weekend. It's local, fortunately, not to get on any planes or anything. So if I decide to go to this event and I'm just not mentally there, I can get in the car and go home. I'm sure people will understand. Um, but that's the kind of guy my dad was. He was, especially being a military man and, and in war, um, you see something bad happen, you just have to keep going. And that's my mentality right now. And the last thing I'm, my personality is not capable of just sitting around the house and moping. I have to keep myself busy and games and work is going to be it, uh, besides family life, obviously. And so um, I'm gonna go to the event and if you guys think that that was the wrong decision, it doesn't really matter, it's my decision. And uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Nick is going with me, so I'm not gonna be alone, obviously, and I'll be with other colleagues who I, I care a lot about and have a lot of respect for. So I'll be surrounding myself with a pretty good support team or structure as well. Especially people I only get to see a couple times a year. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Cool part though is that um, he's gonna be getting military honors. Um, that's gonna be happening. And uh, so he will be getting his, his 21 gun salute and all that stuff, which is great. Which is, that's, he told me once, not that long. My, my father never talked about dying. He wasn't afraid to die. He said he didn't, he, he told me once, you know, I don't wanna die. 
but if I if it's my time, it's my time. That's the way he was, and and he lived through some pretty bad stuff. So he once you he, he told me once you make it through the ambushes and the stuff that he dealt with in Vietnam, uh, especially when he was doing special forces stuff with the Marines and the Navy. He was in the Navy, but he worked alongside the Marines, and um, he was just like once you make it through that. Everything else is easy. You just don't, you're not afraid to die. And you just hope that by the time you die, you've accomplished enough in life to where you feel like you've completed something. And uh, I hope that I live up to uh, what he would have, would have wanted. So hopefully my kids will feel the same about me when it's my time. And hopefully that's long from now, but um, yeah. So again, I apologize guys for the delay in content. Obviously I'm gonna take a couple days off from video content creation. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what's next. Get back to work next week. Take the weekend to just kind of recover and go look at some some stuff at this AMD event. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Don't know what else to say. <laughs>